Hey everyone, this is Mike, and a few days ago I had someone ask me on stream how I got into doing Ultimate content. They were a new player and were wondering about how they would go about finding a static and such, so I thought why not share my journey, as it were. I'm someone that enjoys a challenge, doesn't matter what game it is, could be a harsh raid in Final Fantasy, could be going for a solo completion of a dungeon in Destiny, which, depending on how things go, you might end up seeing a new video on that in the near future, but long story short, I just like a challenge. So as I started getting into Final Fantasy XIV, I naturally wanted to try my hand at some of the more challenging content. What you find challenging will most definitely change over time, certainly did for me, so you have to start somewhere. When I first got into the game, I reached the endgame about a week before a new raid tier came out, which was the perfect timing really. It meant that I could start spamming the old 24-man raid for upgrade materials, and it was fairly easy for me to jump into the new content. I just had to spend some time grinding stuff, instead of being locked behind a weekly lockout. So I got my item level up, and the first thing that I tried was Sophia Extreme. Looking back on the fight wasn't all that difficult, but as someone that had never played an MMO before and never really done any content like this before, it took me a little while to clear it with my friends. Back then, we also didn't have the cross-server party finder yet, so finding a good party was a lot harder than it is right now. So it took me a lot of different attempts before I finally managed to get that clear, but it was really satisfying when I was able to do so. So once I had clear that, the next logical step was to head into Savage, Creator had just come out, so I went to the party finder and I looked for a group to do the first fight with. Ended up stumbling into a party that had half of aesthetic in there, and luckily enough they were kind enough to try and explain the mechanics to me, and we managed to clear it in about an hour or two. We did go into the second fight for a little bit, but we didn't spend too much time in there. So this is kinda where I learned about the existence of statics. Final Fantasy is my first MMO, so I was new to the concept, but I felt like if I wanted to clear all of these savage fights, that it would be a good idea for me to join one. So me and my FC mates tried to make one, but because we were so new to the whole raiding ordeal, kind of fell apart really fast, and I ended up getting most of my clears in Party Finder anyways after we had done our raid days with the static. So I did try out for some statics here or there after that, but I mainly just PF'd my way through progression, up to the point where I got to the final fight. By the time I got there, I found myself a static, and from that point onwards, I also did most of my raiding within one. So at this time, I was still a very casual raider. Wasn't that good, wasn't that bad, just somewhere down the middle, and it stayed that way until the launch of Stormblood. I wanted to do a bit more than just progress through the fights at a casual pace, so that didn't really mix all that well with the group that I was playing with at the time. So got kicked for all of the right reasons, and I started searching for something new. Took me a little while to find a group that I stuck with, but I ended up landing in one that did optimization and speed killing and such. So joining that group made me become a lot better at the game, as I learned a lot about optimization and raid buff stuff while I was in that group. Stormblood was also where the first ultimate came out, so because we were already done with the Savage tier, we saw this as a new challenge to get cleared, so we just went straight in there without having any idea about the immense undertaking that it would be for us. So because the fight was just that tiny bit harder than we were expecting, the group eventually fell apart after not having the best progression. Didn't take long before I found a new group that was a little more consistent at mechanics and I ended up sticking with them until we finally managed to get our clear about two and a half months later. And from that point onwards I kept progressing the new raids as they came out, Savage or Ultimate, and I switched between groups a lot until I finally managed to find a static where things just clicked, which is the static that I am still in to this day some two or so years later. Now when it came down to me transitioning between casual, midcore, hardcore, etc, it all felt very natural. As I became a better player, I also wanted to play with others that were around my level, and I started having higher expectations, both for myself as well as my group. I'm also someone that gets too excited for when new content comes out, and I always want to experience things or clear things as fast as possible, so when a new raid tier comes out, I just want to raid as much as I can, because I want to see all of the fights and such. So at that point, I started getting closer and closer to raiding hardcore, because I wanted to spend more time raiding when the new fights came out. Because we then clear stuff a lot faster than if we're on a more casual schedule, it also meant that we were best in slot and quote-unquote done with the raid tier, a lot faster and then there is also a lot of downtime before the next year comes out, so that's when you have time to progress an ultimate instead. 
I do know that ultimates are a lot harder than savage fights, especially when they're on content, because once you get access to higher item level gear or dungeon gear, the fights do become a lot easier, but even still, they'll pose quite the challenge, especially if they're your first ultimate. So it will take some time and commitment to clear it, but the harder the fight or the struggle, the more satisfaction that I end up getting from getting that first kill. I know this won't be the same for everyone, but that's how it is for me at least. So if you're looking to get into raiding, be it savage or ultimate, just start at the beginning and make your way up at your own pace. Start out by doing the earlier fights in a raid tier and see if you can get through the whole tier. And when you manage to do that and you want a harder challenge, then try your hand at ultimate. And if anywhere along that journey you find that you hit your limit, then that's also fine. Ultimate and Savage aren't for everyone, and there are plenty of people out there that just clear the first and second fight of a Savage, and if you enjoy the game that way, then that's totally fine. It's still a game after all, and you should play it in the way that is most enjoyable to you. Doesn't matter if that means spending an hour each week to clear the easier Savage fights, or if that means going 12 plus hours each week, progressing at an ultimate. There's no wrong way to go about it. So do what you find most enjoyable, and maybe over time your interest will also change. I used to be really into raiding, doing optimization, going for speed kills, all of that kind of stuff. But nowadays, I mainly just care about the progression side of raiding. So I will set aside extra time to put towards that, but once progression is over, I like to just take a chill and raid once a week until the next raid comes out. And maybe for you, it's the other way around. Maybe you start off just going for the clear once a week, but as you get better, maybe you want to try your hand at improving your locks and such. So you raid an extra day or two each week going just for that. It's something that you'll have to see for yourself, and when it comes down to it, I'm sure that it will all come very naturally. So that's all I really had to say, so I want to thank you for watching, I want to thank my patrons for their support, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.